Hello everybody, CJ here with Muxboard, and in the next seven minutes, I'm gonna show you how to wire up to 12 Quick Connect E matches in series using the Quick Split 12. In a previous video, we talked about how to wire E matches in series. If you haven't seen that video, check out the link in the description below. In that video, we also show you how to wire Quick Connect E matches in series using the Quick Split 4. Need more than four E matches in series? In this video, I'm going to show you the Quick Split 12. I'll show you how to wire anywhere from 2 to 12 E matches in series using only the four onboard jumpers. Before we get started, let's talk about the different parts of the Quick Split board. This gray connector is a spring loaded terminal that will allow you to connect the Quick Split to any firing system. This is an example of the pigtail you'll use to connect it to your firing system. I'll show you more about this later. Each row gives you four ports for up to 12 Quick Connect E matches wired in series. Each board comes with four jumpers. You'll be using the jumpers to complete the circuit when you're using less than 12 E matches. And when you're not using your Quick Split board, you can use these notches to wrap up your pigtail. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you get your quick split boards is install a pigtail. Let me show you how to do it. Depending on your firing system, all you're gonna need is a piece of wire, or in this case, I'm using a spent initiator. I've clipped off the E-match head and I've stripped back the wires a bit. Use your thumb to press down on the white levers to open the connector. Insert your wires and let go. The spring tension on this connector is very strong. It should give you a nice positive connection for quite a long time. So we've got our pigtail connected, but before we get to the E-matches, let's take a minute to talk about jumpers. You've got up to 12 ports for connecting E-matches, but any unused port needs to have a jumper to complete the circuit. Anytime you're not using an entire row, you can just use one jumper in the end position to jumper the entire row. If you're wiring four or less E-matches in series, this board works just like the Quick Split 4. So for this example, we're gonna start with four E-matches. Now let's install the jumpers. Since we have two entirely unused rows, we only need two jumpers installed in the end positions. And with the jumpers installed, now we have a complete circuit with only one path for current to flow through all four E-matches. Next, I'll show you how to add a fifth E-match. First thing you'll do is install your E-match in an unused port. Then, let's adjust our jumpers. Since this row is no longer completely empty, we'll need to remove the jumper at the end and fill in the three empty ports with jumpers. Since the top row is still empty, we can leave the jumper installed where it is. Take a look at your board. Every port either has an E-match installed or a jumper. That completes the circuit, letting your firing system check continuity on all E-matches attached to this queue. For six E-matches, remove one of the jumpers, place it in the onboard storage, and install an E-match in its place. Your seventh E-match is going to be much like the sixth. Remove the jumper, place it in storage, and install an E-match in the open port. Wiring eight E-matches in series means you have two full rows. The third row is empty, meaning you only need one jumper in the end position. If you've installed nine E-matches, you'll need to remove the remaining jumper from the end position and install jumpers in empty ports 10, 11, and 12. Hmm. 
Adding any more e-matches to the quick split just means removing a jumper and installing an e-match in its place. As you can see here, 11 e-matches means you only have one jumper installed in the empty 12th position. And if you're using 12 e-matches in series, you don't need any jumpers. You just need to make sure you have an e-match in each port of the quick split. There's one thing I think you should be aware of. Not every firing system will be able to fire 12 e-matches in series. So before you use the quick split 12, check with the manufacturer of your firing system to see how many e-matches you can fire in series. Now let me show you what you do when the show is over. Remove all the quick connect e-matches from your quick split board. Then just wrap your pigtail around the notches for storage. This will make the next time you use your quick split quicker and easier. The quick split boards were designed to solve one of the biggest problems with quick connect e-matches. If you were wondering how to wire quick connect e-matches in series, or you're cutting and stripping wires to do it manually, head over to muxboard.com to learn more and place your order. I really hope you found this video useful, and if you did, go down below and give us a thumbs up. If you're on social media, do me a favor and share this video with your favorite Pyro Forum or Facebook group by hitting the share button below. If you haven't already, head over to facebook.com slash muxboard and give us a like. And if you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe to stay up to date on the latest products and tips and tricks when using quick connect e-matches.